Shazam! I want to review more DC animated and directed video Warner Brothers content. You know, Scooby-Doo, their Lego things that they produce. And, um, and all the DC animated movies. So let's start with uh, Shazam! Magic and Monsters. Now, I'm not sure when this released, but let's talk about this movie. Um, so these are not like the theatrical Lego movies where they're made for everybody, right? Anybody can watch those movies, for the most part anyways, and find something funny and enjoy themselves. That's kind of the appeal of the Lego movie. That's why it was such a big hit when it came out and why it's made a whole franchise. That's sadly disappointed, and now Universal owns the rights to uh, make Lego theatrical films. So we'll see how that turns out. Hopefully well, because I want more of that stuff. But we will not know until that happens. Um, but th these are direct to video. So these are not like that. They're strictly meant for kids. Um, and they're, they're just fun like DC stories. The kind of plot of this movie is that Black Adam turns um, all the Justice League into kids and now they have to kind of you know find a way to stop Black Adam and deal with that and it's kind of like mm. um, these aren't clever like the Lego movies like I said they don't really have jokes about them being Legos I think these movies are actually very boring um, because when you watch them, they're like, yeah, you get a it, you get it for kids, but it's like, they're not really telling jokes. And when they are, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Like there's one where this guy, he's being arrested and they roll up the window, you know, like in a cop movie, they close the door and to the cop car while he's in it. And he, you know, he's saying, I'll be back. And then he. You know, you can't hear him after he closes the door. They're like, yeah, yeah. And then he rolls, and he just rolls down the window, finishes his sentence, which I thought was pretty funny. But besides that, like, that was not really a laugh out loud joke. It was a, oh, that was a, a mild chuckle. It, it was decent. Um, you know, it's kind of weird to me that movies like this that are made strictly for kids don't tell jokes, you know what I mean? Kids like the stuff that's more funny. That's why they find minions so appealing, appealing to them. It's funny to them and stuff like that. And when you watch stuff like this, it's just boring. Like, blah. Like, I get it. Maybe, maybe it's just me, but like, obviously it's not meant for me, but you can tell that in some ways a kid would be bored by this. And I like the Shazam character. Um, you can tell that they took some influence from the Shazam movie, which I have right here. Um, and I like that movie, you know, that, they, that little, I guess, spoilers for this movie and the end of Shazam, the, the, the this movie. Um, they, you know, they use that worm at the end of the movie. Uh, but that's not really a spoiler. They use the backstory with him being an orc too, which varies from which Shazam story you read. In fact, some Shazam stories... They're at, he's, he's actually Shazam, uh, but he's like one guy instead of two different people, which is really weird, but, you know, but that, that's also a storyline, so, I don't know, but yeah, also there's like, I don't know. It's a, it's a, Shazam's a weird character, honestly. Like, he went from being Captain Marvel, and then Marvel's like, you can't call that for licensing reasons. And he's like, okay, you're Shazam now. And he's gone through all these weird changes over the decades. Probably more than, like, characters like Batman and Superman have. But, yeah, I mean, this is a decent movie. I think if you have kids and they, they don't really care, and they enjoy some of the other Lego movies that they put out direct-to-video like this, they would like this. Show them it. It's fine. Uh, most of these pop up on Netflix, or I'm sure they're really cheap to rent. And they usually go down on Black Friday for really cheap. Um, and yeah, it's a cheap movie. Check it out. It's not a terrible watch. It's a decent one.
So let me know what you thought of Shazam, Magic, and Monsters down in the comments below. And I'm giving this a 3 out of 5.